Three, two, one. Welcome to the Benghazi Rabbit. In today's episode, we delve into a story that feels more like a scene from a movie than everyday life. Our focus is on a family, just like any other, who found themselves at the center of an unexpected and alarming situation right in their own driveway. Picture a quiet, rarely patrolled part of the county where calls to law enforcement often go unanswered, and the presence of a police officer is as rare as a desert rain. It was in this setting that Rodney and Justin returned from a routine trip to the Dollar General, only to be met with flashing blue lights and the stern face of a local detective. In a place where the law felt more like a stranglehold than a protective presence, this sudden encounter was nothing short of shocking. When the detective car sirens wailing, he pulled into his driveway, unknowingly setting the stage for a confrontation that would involve not just him, but his entire family. Amid confusion and concern, the family stepped outside to face a situation they could never have anticipated, sparking a series of events that would leave them questioning the very essence of law enforcement in their community. Join us as we unravel the complexities of this gripping tale that has been submitted to the Rabbit Tip Line. If you have a tip or something you wish the Rabbit to showcase, please head to our website at therabbit.info. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more from the Benghazi Rabbit. Okay. What? Why'd he pull you? You come over here and interfere, you're going to go to jail. Come here. Go get, he has a gun. No, touch the gun. Okay, that's fine. Come on back now. Yeah. It's bullshit. It's it's harassment. I can't rec- I can't record him because of the fucking hair box. Hush, 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 hush. Hey, Gail, come here. Will you pick up his cell phone? Rodney's. Right there on the ground. Hey, I'm t- hey, what? I can't touch it. Hey. Why? I can't touch you. Hey, okay. listen. This ain't, I don't care. I stopped him three miles ago. He didn't stop to here. You take your ass and get in the house. You'll go to jail for resist. I don't care. Whoa, let's not do it, Bridge. Detective Ridge Phillips is violating this individual's Fourth Amendment right to be secure on his property. He's violating his First Amendment right by using prior restraint as it relates to the First Amendment preventing him from recording and his Sixth Amendment right by not stating a primary charge. Resisting is a secondary charge. No one was disrespecting you. No, this is our property, sir. That's fine. I am not touching Nobody's near your stuff. I understand. I told her not to touch it. I mean, and I told her I wasn't touching it. So there was no call for that. Somebody needs to talk to you. We just did. Go on and get out of the road. Yes, step this step this step yes step come out here on our property. Hey, your phone might record better, Gail, if you want to turn the recorder on. What? What is it? Just hush. Don't, don't you say a word because it don't matter. He was the only one nice to me the other night. I know. Queen, what's the charge? Let's get It's recording. It's recording. Yes, come on. Okay. She's not going to say a word. She's going to stand here and be quiet. Don't say a word. I 
I can't hear around you. I mean, you know. You stay on proper. Don't say a word. Okay. Okay. Because they can take take you for anything. I know. I need calls for the camera. And he knows that. I'll oh, probably go out to another office. It does, but if you go anywhere around this, he can get you for obstruction. I'm not going on that. I'm on the highway. I'm going no, but he can also get you. He's going to get me for whatever he wants to get me for. That's why I said keep your mouth shut and don't give me a reason. First Amendment constitutionally protected activities like recording and free speech cannot be converted into a crime like interference or obstruction. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, it really, really upsets me. And we can't get any help to come when we need them. It's okay. I got him on video threatening Dad. Notice this public servant on a fishing expedition has his back turned to the people recording and to the dogs, clearly indicating that he feels safe. This narcotics detective is looking for drugs and weapons that are unauthorized to the driver and passenger. Under the leadership of Sheriff Mike Henley of the Avery County Sheriff's Department in North Carolina, these deputies and detectives have had a history of not stating primary charges or stating incorrect primary charges, then saying resisting as a secondary charge, going back to their patrol office, consulting with their attorneys, and then changing the charges to a different charge. Where's Jasmine? Where's Jasmine? I want her. Okay. You didn't have this recording. You had it stopped. I just like it. Trying to get a new picture. Which person's drunk? Uh, maybe it should be a brother or someone. Someone? Roger, Andrew, and Frank, whatever. He's going to be so wet-hearted because of my patent on that. Because I was thinking a big time back there. What? Whoever gave him his information. The two CIs. Okay. Uh-huh. And I was swinging, I'm going to swing it with Jake Taylor. Oh. <laughs> I can't walk over there. Where? Yeah, I saw him when I pulled out. Yeah, he's going out behind us to get blue eyes until we got past the uh, Scott Sissy's house. They got in the truck, so I can't. Huh? No, we heard them yeah, flying in. Yeah, and then Yeah, he goes to church yeah. every Wednesday. Oh! Come here. Sit down, dude. Sit. Go lay there. Huh? He's going to some Oreos. Huh? He's going to some Oreos. He's doing what?
The individual that's cuffed and detained by the Sheriff's Department was originally stopped for a moving traffic violation. However, this stop escalated into a search for guns and drugs. It would appear that this was more of a pretextual stop to go on a fishing expedition to do searches and seizures, to check for warrants, to see if he had any felonies and unlawful possession of any drugs or firearms. I'd like to know what the viewers think. Leave a comment in the comment section if you think this was a pretextual stop to do further investigation and violate this individual's Fourth Amendment right. Yes, Oh, just tell Clay to hold on. I gotta see if that app worked because you said it didn't work. So we'll figure it out in a minute. Well, they were the ones that made us rejected. No, she said I want us. She'll be here soon. Huh? Whatever it's called now. It was I want us when I was little. Thank you. 
died on it. Well, I dimmed it down. Oh. <laughs> Just got to dim it all. Don't kill your battery. Is that Jasmine? No, it's not. It's almost a cup. It's a nine o'clock. Yeah, it's a nine o'clock. Yeah, it's a nine o'clock. Oh, no, it's more cops. Well, oh, great. Donna. I got that camera. <laughs> I need my new cards. It looks like the voices and everything. That's the way it records. No. Oh. That's the way it records. I'm getting one of these phones. Good thing you got a super phone. Mm -hmm. Good thing you got a super phone. Super, super, super phone. Holy shit. Oh, come here. Come here. No, 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 don't jump on me, no. Just car and they don't have a warrant. They don't have a warrant. They don't have a warrant. And nobody's on probation. Nobody's on probation. We're and you don't have a warrant. <laughs> Go get dad. Go get dad. Guys, please back up Well, she's um on my warrant. I'm dating a big meth dealer, remember? Oh. And she's hanging out with Jake Taylor. And I, I hang out with Jake Taylor. This might be the reason for this pretextual stop and violation of this man's Fourth Amendment and unlawful detainment is that they have profiled this man and think that he's possibly associated with drug dealers. No. I don't. I do not. Avery, you're going to stop saying, hang your drop. 10-4-10. Because he thinks once you're all... Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah
I got her on Facebook. I don't know if you're here. Just hold on one. What? You need to tell him that Dylan done painted it and changed everything on it. We get them as put numbers on them. Like try to make a list. She's up all the This is what word is. It's family. Alright, thank you. Annie Hughes is missing. Right. Girlfriend. Ex girlfriend. What? Annie Hughes. What? Missing in action, kind of. Not like a missing person report. I heard Dylan beat her in the head with a ladder. Yeah, that's what her mom told me at the store. Well, she's probably back with her. She needs every time it gets up. Is that Hannah the blonde-headed? Yeah. That's the one that was at our store, my store that one night that nobody would ever come down. It's because it's Dylan Young's girlfriend. Because Dylan Young's girlfriend. That's where it just went in. And she was just... She's... She's scared of a couple people. But she was acting crazy. She is crazy. It's kind of hard to do anything, they pulled that parallel to the window. Doesn't he like your phone right now? And he pulled him and searched him. How old are you? Oh, I know. Oh, go lay down. Queen was the only one. He's a pretty dog. He was the only one I asked him the other night. He's stupid. Huh? He's stupid. Rodney well, wants you to record it. <laughs> hey, he's, he, he just likes love. And what? <laughs> I got gloves on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, brownies this week. Yeah, I feed him every day. Don't that's that, that I love that uh, blue pit that Joey had. He only oh, had it for a little bit. That's what Joey said. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Brownie comes in the store and I feed him a thing of hot dogs every day. I got you. I don't think Joey has. I don't think he always has money to feed him, so I try to keep him fed. Yeah, hold your camera. Yeah. Hold your camera so I can record him. What am I doing? Hold your camera. Tina's going to keep Jasmine if they're still up here Is until they're done. Okay? Yeah, Mackenzie's fine. He has to talk to her boyfriend. What boyfriend? I don't know. She went back to him shut the door. <laughs> what? Under detainment, police can hold a citizen up to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it's considered an arrest. Whether they tell you your charge and violate your Sixth Amendment right or not even read your Miranda rights, this is considered an arrest. It's also a violation of this man's Fourth Amendment. And it's also an Eighth Amendment violation that they kept this man cuffed minutes beyond the 20 minute mark. I'd like to know what the viewers think. Please leave a comment in the comment section or in the live chat. Do you think it's an eighth amendment violation, cruel and unusual punishment to detain a man in cuffs behind his back, tight cuffs, torture cuffs, beyond this 20 minute mark?
It'll go into Rich's car. <laughs> Be the highlight of the night. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good, how you doing, sir? I'll take it out. My heat is moving away. My heat is moving away. After this long search of the detained individual, the detective told the individual he wasn't leaving empty handed and issued him a traffic citation for driving left of center on the road. Like, share, and subscribe. We at the Benghazi Rabbit want to know what the viewers think. Was this a pretextual stop? Was this a retaliatory stop? Was this profiling a local resident? Was this stop to generate revenue? Let us know in the comments. Okay. Call yep. Tina and tell her it's okay. Yep. Your dad's got your gun? Correct? No, it's okay. Don't mind the truck. He don't mind the truck. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. Okay, y'all had a ride. Come on, y'all. Every day, injustices, large and small, erode the very fabric of our society. From the corridors of power to the streets of our communities, Corruption and misconduct threaten our collective rights and freedoms. But amidst this darkness, there is a beacon of hope that is you, our viewers. Our journey is driven by the pursuit of justice, the quest for transparency, and the imperative of education. We delve into the hard truths not to despair, but to empower. To empower you with knowledge, with courage, and with the tools to stand up for what is right. And when you witness injustice, when you come across corruption, remember, you have a voice through us. Our anonymous tip line is your secure channel to share information. Be it via email or over the phone, your identity remains protected as you help shine a light on the darkness. The most powerful tool in our arsenal is you, our community. By subscribing to the Benghazi Rabbit on YouTube, you do more than just join a channel. You join a movement. A movement towards a world where justice prevails, where transparency is the norm, and where every citizen is empowered to stand as one against corruption and misconduct. Together, we are formidable. Together, we can unearth the injustices that work in the shadows. Join us. Subscribe, share, and stand with the rabbit. Because when we stand together, we can make the world a better place.